folks. Today we're going to talk about recording a podcast on a Chromebook, which is not as complicated as it sounds. And an easy way to start uh, is by using really two extensions that um, you probably have seen in some way, shape, or form in the past. Uh, one is Screencastify, which you, is a recording um, app extension that you can use to record your screen and the audio and things like that. And another is called MP3 Converter, which we're going to use to basically rip the audio from a recorded video uh, to then use as a podcast as you would in any other uh, podcast format. So we'll talk about that um, in a different video, but first we're going to talk about setting up and planning your podcast. The first thing that you need uh, in all podcasts that are successful have um, a website or show notes, and so it's an always a good idea to, to have that element of your website as well, or of your podcast as well. And for a school project, it could be as simple as a, uh, a slideshow or a document or something like that, but a website really does make it seem professional. So using a Google site, um, I created sort of a fake podcast here called Grin and Bear. It's a podcast about bears, which really isn't anything, but it's a good sample one. So I very simply used a Google website, um, a Google site, and, and created a little header and threw a little bear image on there. Um, again, a little intro, welcome to my podcast about bears. And then here's each of the episodes that I recorded. And basically the show notes are simply uh, bullet points of what I wanted to talk about in each episode along with links to those resources, which again, you always want to include um, you know, the resources that you get your information from. And then I simply linked to the episode here with a little play button that I found and uh, listening to it here. And I, and I uploaded the episode when, once it was finished ripping. Uh, I uploaded the MP3 to Google Drive. So when you click on it, it brings it up uh, as a new tab and, uh, and you can just play the podcast here. Listen to it that way, which totally fine works you know on any device all right so i planned out my first episode uh just a few quick short um show notes uh but i also wanted a little bit of music and i'm gonna actually play the beginning of this podcast for you so you can see it um or hear it and and i'll show you kind of how i put all this together so here's the beginning of my episode Welcome to the Grin and Bear podcast, the podcast all about bears. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to get to know bears a little bit more. All right, so you can tell I really didn't have any idea what I was talking about. But uh, it started out with some music, and then, you know, it faded out, as I said, welcome to. And I did not do any of that editing um, after the fact. It all happened live as I was recording. So um, one of my favorite locations to go for uh, royalty-free music is a website called incompetech.com, uh, I-N-C-O-M-P-E-T-E-C-H.com, and it's, um, it's this great website uh, that a um, gentleman put together, and basically he has music and graph paper, which is like my favorite thing, but his music is all royalty-free music, um, and he's got a whole bunch of different types of uh, modern electronica and this laser pack is actually the one that I chose to use it was the very first one uh, but a lot of them are uh, there's jazz there's like video game sounds there's horror music it's it's really really great and he's just uh, um, just an incredible uh, guy to put this stuff together so um, once I chose a, a song to use, I'm going to go back up to the top, I chose Laser Pack here. There's a little bit of information. He's pretty funny um, in his descriptions. But basically, you can download it as an MP3. And then Kevin, his name is Kevin McLeod, he gives you um, the link or at least a little context to put on your website to give him credit. I got Since this is... Um, you know, open source, basically music and free royalty free. You still want to give them credit for the creation. So um, make sure that you include that in your show notes someplace um, on your website or, or you say it uh, in the actual podcast. You know, the song is courtesy of Kevin McLeod or however you want to do it. But anyway, that's how you do it. So I simply downloaded the song as an MP3 and then played it as I started recording. And you can do that for sound effects uh, or anything else. It just has to be recorded live. And again, this is kind of an easy way to do this, but if you're, if you're having students prepare um, ahead of time, then they, they really have to think about what they're going to be talking about in their podcast. So in the next episode, we'll talk about the actual recording process and how to set up um, Screencastify. But definitely go to Incompetech, um, give him some credit, and definitely, uh, if you want, contribute to his uh, Patreon account because he does a lot of stuff for no money. So um, pretty nice. Anyway, in the next video, we'll talk about how to record. Thank mm -hmm. you.